Oh, hey y'all. Welcome back to Doing It With Jason. Today I will show you how to stain some distressed wood. Uh, it's gonna be a lot of fun. Uh, this is a part two, our uh, first time doing something like that. Uh, we distressed the wood in the original video, so now I'm gonna show you how to stain it. The idea is you're gonna wanna use stain and uh, fill in all the deeper areas with the dark stain. Uh, something way darker than the final look that you're going for just to give it a nice deep 3d look to it so uh, you're gonna need one of these little brushes uh, foam whatever kind of brush uh, foam is probably not the best but it's all I had because it will react with some stains you're gonna need some dark stain some gloves and a rag so uh, let's get started <laughs> Jason. Paging Dr. Stain. Paging Dr. Stain. All right, guys, so you're going to want to take your really dark stain, almost black, uh, stir it up a little bit, put your gloves on, and basically start dipping your brush in there and just really dousing it on the area. Uh, too much is not possible right now for the most part. Uh, you're really just going to want to work it. It's kind of messy unless you want to take your time, but. You just really want to get it all in all of the cracks. Uh, rag's not recommended for this because it's really hard to get it in the cracks. You end up wasting a lot more stain. Uh, get it on all the edges and just keep on working it in. So we're going to keep working the stain on our project. Uh, getting it everywhere you can think of. And it's really nice when you can get it in all these little deep cracks and crevices. Just really want to work it all in there. And continue working the stain on the edges and the other side of the wood. And we left our back side uh, completely smooth because what this is going to be is actually a sofa table that's going behind a sofa. Uh, and it will have some metal uh, pieces holding it together. It's going to be pretty neat. So this will basically be two slabs of wood on two. Uh... All right, now you're going to take your rag and just wipe off all the excess, uh, kind of leaving it in the deep grooves. You don't want to soak up all that. You want to let that just dry into the wood as much as possible. You just want to, uh, and dust is okay if it gets into the project right now. We're far from being close to finished. So you're going to want to just wipe off all the high areas for the most part, getting that all, uh, you know, a little less dark. Uh, you want to bring the, almost the natural look of the wood through. All right, now you can kind of, kind of see, 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 kind of see. All right, so now you guys can kind of see uh, the natural lighter part of the wood coming through from wiping it off with the rag. Uh, you can let it dry a little longer. We're not going to right now. But basically, you can take any kind of sandpaper you have lying around, 80, uh, 120. And you're just going to want to work it with the wood. And this is what's going to really bring all the high spots out. Uh, and keep those dark spots dark that are underneath. Because the sandpaper, just keeping it somewhat flat, will keep uh, the sandpaper from hitting all the dark areas and leaving all those. So it's going to make a little bit of a mess here and fill in all your dark spots with all the dust that's coming off. But don't worry, just be positive. It's going to look really great underneath. So basically you just keep doing this the whole length of the board, which this one is about a little over seven feet long. So we've got a little, a little time to, to work this. So uh, yeah, right now is a good time if you want to take a coffee break or anything. <laughs> So we have this thing all sanded up. Uh, I personally enjoy the way this looks. It's really got a high definition two-tone color, but I don't think the customer is going for that. She was looking for more of a, like a natural tone look to it. So what you do now uh, is after it's all sanded, you kind of clean it off, blow it off, and you grab a stain that is a lighter color that you're kind of really digging. And then you basically just wipe that on. And what happens is the stain 
pretty much for the most part will only, uh, because it's much lighter than the original, will uh, stick or you know deepen up the light colors. So it gets rid of that you know crazy contrast that we just had, which almost looks cartoony, and I totally enjoy that look. Uh, but this kind of just brings those earth tones up in that thing, and pretty much how it's coming out. Uh, you can wipe off any excess like you do normally when you stain. Uh, don't forget your sides. And then all this part here. And then the more you wipe it off, the more you'll get some, you know, more unique tones in this thing. Here, I'll use this other rag. There we go. Well, all right, y'all, that is about all I have for you. Uh, if you have any questions, please comment below, and I will definitely try to answer it if I can. Uh, the main thing is you want to seal this after. Uh, just makes it easier to maintain uh, any crumbs or anything that get in these crevices things. You easily can get them out with a microfiber towel. Uh, we are real excited about this project. We love doing these. We've been doing them for years and years. Ever since I was in Disney World with the kids and my wife, um, I was on Splash Mountain, I believe, and their handrails all look old like this. And I was like, whoa, that's impossible to look this old. I mean, look like hundreds and hundreds of years old wood. Uh, I figured they probably sandblasted it after thinking about it, but I pretty much thought of this way and just been doing it ever since. Uh, we have a lot of fun with it. So we'll be welding this together. Uh, it's a sofa table, behind the sofa table, whatever you call those for a customer. So it should come out looking really, really nice and check it out on our website. Let us know what you think about it. And other than that, smash that like button and subscribe. We'll have more and more and more and more stuff coming, uh, hopefully weekly. Maybe bi-weekly, but that might be once every two weeks, all the time. See ya.